Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is episode four of my series featuring the Build a House die set from Lawn Fawn. I am doing a new video every week with this die set because I love it. It's so versatile. And today's cards have a humorous theme, all inspired by this tiny little stamp. It is from the Costume Party stamp set. It's a roll of toilet paper. Just to give you a hint as to where we're going with this video. Two cards because of this little stamp right here. So make sure if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, it's different, like who makes cards about toilet paper and such things? So let me know if you like it. Leave a comment below, tell me which card is your favorite and you will get in a drawing for a chance to win one of the cards from today's video. I'm actually gonna give away both, so there will be two drawings this week. And that brings me to my next point. I have drawn out a winner for last week's card, this one right here. And their name will appear across the screen right now. Thank you so much for liking my videos, commenting, sharing them, subscribing, and all of those things. It means so much to me to get to do what I love and share it with you. So now let's talk about toilet paper. So when you have a toilet paper stamp and a build a house die set, it's obvious that you should make an outhouse, right? Well, that's what I thought of. So I am die cutting this house and going to turn it into a pattern. I want the sides to be flush. So I'm cutting off these outer pieces of the house. It just gives it more of an outhouse look and it's pretty easy to do with a paper cutter. And then I felt like it was a little bit too tall for an outhouse, so I'm trimming half of an inch off the bottom. And the reason why I'm not doing this on my brown paper and making a template is because I don't want that window that's in the build a house as it comes. So I'm gonna be making a different window. I'm laying this onto a piece of brown cardstock in the corner and tracing the three sides, and I am making two outhouses. Then I can use that pencil line and line it up in my paper cutter to cut it quickly and straight. Then I'm using some scissors with a long blade to trim down that roof. The window I'm using is the Moon die from the Love You S'more die set. I also will be using that stamp set later on. So I'll just tape that on and cut a moon-shaped window. I'm also using the Halloween Build a House add-on to create some, I don't know, extra elements for my um, outhouse to bring it to life. And then I'm gonna score this at um, every fourth of an inch to give it kind of that look that it's made with wood planks. And I think that just really adds to the look of it. I'm gonna be putting some walnut stain ink around the edges of my outhouse just to give it some more dimension. And it really, it's just one of those little extra things that really brings um, your project to life. And so I love using these little tiny makeup brushes to add a little bit extra ink. It looks dark here, but it will dry back a little bit lighter. I'm doing the same thing with my door, my roof pieces that are cut from oatmeal cookie cardstock, so a lighter shade of brown, more of a tan look, and this dark ink really helps to kind of uh, match to the darker brown on the outhouse itself. Now I'm just cutting a scrap piece that will go on the inside of this door, and I'm gonna be using this whipped cream stamp from the Thanks A Latte stamp set. I'm going to stamp it where I only ink the edges of the stamp. So I have one of these for each door, and you might be able to guess which emoji this looks like that I thought would be really funny on the inside of my outhouse door. It's not a Hershey kiss, I will tell you that. So I'm using two shades of brown to color this in so it looks like that really cute emoji. And then I'm going to stamp um, a little face that's also from the um, Love You S'more stamp set. It seemed to fit on here just perfect. And I'll emboss that with white powder and it really <laughs> is one of the funniest elements for this card. A little surprise when you open the outhouse door. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna line this up behind the door. I'm not going to adhere it to the door. 
Um, that might have been easy to do, but no, I'm going to just use that as a guide so I know where I want it inside the door, and then I'll lay that down so I know when I do glue the door on, it's going to fit perfectly. But, you know, now that I'm doing this voiceover, I'm realizing, why didn't I just glue it to the back of the door? That would have been easier. So you do that, and I'll remember that for next time. So we'll glue that in place. And that will be the cute little surprise when you open the door. I'm going to take a scrap and put it behind this moon piece so it will match the other elements on the outhouse. We'll glue the roof on just by putting a little glue on the back of it and then laying the outhouse down onto it. Of course, we're going to put a teeny tiny door knob on these because I like to make myself crazy with teeny tiny pieces, right? We all do. It, love is in the details. We got to put it on there. I thought this little chimney, although it might not be um, completely accurate for an outhouse, looked really cute. So I went ahead and put that on. You need a little ventilation in the outhouse. So yeah. All right. So now let's stamp and ink up the bear and the toilet paper. So the bear is from Love You S'more and the toilet paper again is from the Costume and Party stamp set. I'm gonna color these in with my Copic markers and I have the lids there so you can see what colors I have used. Um, as I state in all my videos, I am not a Copic coloring expert. I am fairly new at it, and so I'm not here really to teach you about Copic coloring, but I like to show my coloring because I want you to know if you're like me and you're not an expert at Copic coloring, you can still make some really nice colored images. Now, that being said, this E11 marker I'm using right here, it was too light. I should have done the E13. I don't know if I got confused or what, but... Um, I would say I could have colored a better bear, but I, in the end, I thought it was fine and I ended up using it anyway. And I don't think anyone will critique my bear as I do. So just keep that in mind. Even if you don't love it, you put your hard work into it and maybe it's okay to just go ahead and use. So for the toilet paper, I'm using C2 and C0 to blend that out to give them a little shading. I die cut those pieces and now I'm stamping the two little trees also from the Love You S'more set. I actually ended up stamping two of each and that is the freshly cut green stamp pad from Lawn Fawn. Then I'm coming in with my G29 Pine Tree Green and putting some little lines on the trees just to give them a little dimension, a little detail, and die cut those out. Now I have my um, mountain dies. It's actually the stitched mountain borders. I'm using the larger one. I'll die cut that and the little snow caps. And I'm going to do um, two of these. So I have one for each of my cards. And I'm using a little black soot distress ink just to give a little shadow um, to the top of these mountains. I Again, I love that look. So we'll glue on the little snow caps and it really just adds to that mountain feel, but you could use them without as well, depending on what scene you're creating. This is the mushroom border die set. I'm using the grass from this set and die cutting a little hill and then I'll come back with that freshly cut grass to add a little shading to that. And it, I'm seeing that it just really brings it to life, that little extra shadow there. I'm going to glue all these pieces down onto a piece of watercolor printed paper from Lawn Fawn. And that just makes the most beautiful sky. I'm kind of sad I'm covering up so much of it, but I love the look of this paper for the sky. So I'll trim off those excess pieces and then I'll tuck the mountain behind the grass, just kind of playing with how high I want it. And I end up putting it up pretty high so that the outhouse would fit there. So the outhouse would be shorter than the mountains. So I'll just glue that on and I'm putting it right uh, flush with the bottom edge of my front panel. And now I can put on my little cute elements. We have our little bear that's gonna go on. I mean, maybe he's kind of like the Charmin bear. I don't know, <laughs> it is cute. And then we'll stack up this toilet paper just in case you weren't sure what this uh, was maybe the toilet paper helps give it away that it's an outhouse. And if you're wondering about the crescent moon in the outhouse like I was, the rumor or the story is that 
because people couldn't always read, the moon was the symbol for women because the moon goes in cycles, just like women. And so the women's outhouse had a moon and the men's had a star. And also it was a way to let in light because outhouses did not have windows. And I'm sure some air in there too. So that's what I found on the World Wide Web in case you were wondering. <laughs> and now you know. <laughs> All right, so let's bring in the sentiment, which I typed up to put on here, being sick is the dumps. I just typed it up on my computer, printed it out in a long strip, and I love making custom sentiments. Sometimes you just need the perfect thing, and maybe there's not a stamp out there that says what you need to say. So there it is. And then I'm gonna mount this onto um, some blue cardstock that coordinates well with that background paper. And I love this card. It is just so funny. And when I told my mom about this card, she actually gave me the idea for the next card. So I stamped Feel Better on the inside, which is from the Simply Sentiments stamp set. And then I have a nice big spot to write a get well message and just cheer somebody up. Being sick is not fun. You know, sometimes your friend just needs a smile, right? And this is the card for that. So now let's jump into card number two. I'm gonna make a night sky using Distress Oxide ink and black soot. I'm just gonna ink blend the top uh, about one third of this paper and that is the rest will be covered up because I'm putting the mountains on there again. So I don't need to ink blend the whole thing, but I do need something to glue my hill onto and I'm gonna put snow on this one, so some snowy banks. And I'm getting that nice and dark and then spritzing it with my distress sprayer and some water to give it um, a little bit of a snowy look. So there we have that. And then I'm coming in with my stitched simple wavy borders. These are great for ocean waves, but also snowbanks. So I'll die cut two of those and then I'm gonna glue them on. But before I did that, I took my blending tool that had the black soot on it. And without adding ink, I just add a little shadow to that because it is nighttime. So I thought, it would help those layers stand out against each other. So I'll get those situated and glue them down into place. So I have enough room at the top for a sentiment. And that will complete that. And then I will go ahead and stick on my second outhouse. So you can see it's pretty much the same place. It's just now winter. Now I'm taking some white acrylic paint and I'm going to um, water that down a little bit so it's a little easier to splatter and I'll create some more snow on this. Now I would love it if you would tell me if you think this was a mistake. Is this snow just too much? There is a lot going on in this card and I love the idea of the snow. I love splattering all the things. But you tell me, do you think it makes it too busy? Now in this video with the plaid or the uh, grid background and the snow, I feel like it is way too much. The card at the end, maybe you could tell me what you think when you see those photos. So I have the Ho Ho Holidays stamp set. It's from Lawn Fawn's new release. I am coloring these images with my Copics again. I've sped this up considerably because I'm, like I said, not here to teach. Copic coloring. There are plenty of great YouTubers out there that you can learn so much from on this like I have. So that's where I encourage you to learn. But right here, I am combining Y17 with my E13 to create a kind of golden look. So that's how I achieved that. And then I'm coloring the toilet paper the same way and just using shades of red and green for my presents and my Santa and then I'll come in with some browns, kind of like I did on the bear, and color my reindeer. I did go a little bit darker on the reindeer because it's nighttime, and so that's why he's a little bit darker. And I love this stamp set. It is the cutest Santa. There's also a Mrs. Claus in the set, and like a glass of milk and cookies, and really cute sentiments. I'm gonna be using this set lots, I know. So we'll just finish coloring these out and I'll die cut them to get ready for my card off screen. 
Also, you see here, I am coloring over the spots on this deer, but at the very end, I'll come back in with a white gel pen and fill that in. I just didn't want to try to worry about not touching them with my Copics because they're alcohol markers. They tend to bleed a little bit, so I probably would have had to touch them up anyway with a white gel pen. So I just did that at the end and colored right over them. So I'm adding the presents to the sleigh just for another added touch of detail. And this sleigh is a little bit big for my card. So you'll see here when I put the foam squares on the back, I'm only putting them to one side because I will have to trim off part of the sleigh. But I put it far enough over um, so that I could still open that door and cut off the least amount of the sleigh at the same time. All right, so Santa's gonna go up on the roof of this outhouse. No, oh, he's so cute. What should he be holding in his hand? Toilet paper. Yeah. He's either delivering this to the outhouse or he's thinking, you know, while we're here, I might take a break. So here's my sentiment. No, I said the Schmidt house. Did I tell you? This idea was from my mom. When I told her about my first outhouse card, she said, do you have a Santa stamp? Uh, yes. And so she said, well, that card could say this. And so I had to do it. It's really funny. If you, I'm sure you have a friend that you know would appreciate this card and just get a kick out of it. So there you go. There's my second outhouse card. Maybe you could think of lots of other things your cards could say. There's so many, you know, punny little sentiments that could go with an outhouse card. So I'm gluing that onto a red card base and that completes my two cards for today. I really want to know what you think of this video. It, I know it's a little out there. I hope it's not too offensive and that everybody has a good sense of humor about it. So tell me what you think below and you will be entered into a drawing to win one of these cards. I'm giving them both away. So two winners th this week. So make sure you leave a comment and let me know your thoughts. Please let me know. I would love to hear it. All the things I used are listed and linked for you below. There were so many dies today and I have a brand new video coming out again very soon. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't. And I just thank you so much for being here. I will be back again very soon. Happy stamping. Bye.